In this video, we are going to learn about the term angle. Angle. An angle can be a plane angle, a dihedral angle, a spherical angle, or a solid angle. In this video, we shall learn about the plane angle. We shall learn about the dihedral angle, the spherical angle, and the solid angle in the next video of this series. Plane angle. Before defining the plane angle, let me ask two questions. How much distance have you traveled when you moved from the class door to your seat? I guess it is about 4 to 5 meters. You can also tell me it is about 15 to 20 feet. So distance is measured in meters, feet, inches, etc. Now try to answer this question. How much have you moved the door when you opened it? Is it 1 meter? Is it 2 or 2.5 feet? No. You can't measure the movement of the door in units of length. Why? As the door is rotating about an axis, the points near the axis are covering relatively less linear distance than the far points from the axis. So this time we have to measure the rotation, not linear distance. Let's try to define the angle now. In plane geometry, angle is amount of rotation of a ray about its fixed end. See this figure. We have rotated a ray ON from its initial position to a new position OM. How much is the rotation in this case? It is 45 degrees. Before starting rotation, the ray was on ON position. After rotation of 45 degrees, it reached the position OM. The ray ON in this case is called as the initial ray. The ray OM is called the terminal ray of the angle. ON and OM are collectively called arms of the angle. The common starting point of both the rays is called vertex of the angle. Depending upon the direction of rotation, angles may be positive or negative. Positive angle. The angle formed due to counterclockwise rotation of a ray about its fixed end is called as a positive angle. Negative angle. The angle formed due to clockwise rotation of a ray about its fixed end is called as a negative angle. For example, an angle of 45 degrees is formed as and an angle of negative 45 degrees is formed as. Angle in standard position. An angle is said to be in standard position if its vertex lies on the origin and its initial ray lies on x axis.
however if bearing is an angle measured in standard position clockwise from the north direction measurement of angle plane angles are measured in degrees radians and gradients i have already posted a video about degree radian and gradient here and this is the end of this video thank you for being with me stay happy goodbye